What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 handheld game console 2021. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. For all you folks who are in pursuit of a solid handheld gaming console that will also save you a few bucks, we say check out the new Nintendo 2DS XL. Thanks to the surprisingly low price for the quality you get, we have awarded this fella the title of the best cheap handheld game console on the market in 2021. The device combines the capabilities of its predecessors into a new whole. For the new 3DS, the system borrows options such as the C-Stick button, an NFC reader compatible with Amiibo figures, as well as additional processing power, while removing the 3D functionality of the screen. The device is not even similar to the original 2DS, instead going for looks more similar to the 3DS folding models. While the screens are the same as on the 3DS XL console, the 2DS XL is smaller and more rounded. You will easily move to a bigger screen and many other new options packed into a lightweight, portable console. The hardware on the 2DS XL and 3DS XL console is identical, although not set up the same way. The front camera has been moved to the wrist of the 2DS XL, while the rear one is on the bottom of the device. The new 2DS XL has a quad-core ARM11 CPU, 256MB of RAM, and a faster Wi-Fi, which is also available on newer 3DS variants. There's also an XL screen, 82% larger than its predecessor screen, and the ergonomic design makes it easy to store and carry. The best features of the new console are the affordable price, attractive design, and the ability to play thousands of 2DS and 3DS games that have been produced over the past decade. Also, it comes with a circular drop that allows 360 degree control, as well as two pairs of buttons, ZL, ZR, and LR on the background for more options. The new Nintendo DS XL also boasts an NFC reader that allows easy use of Amiibo figurines, as well as a touchscreen that gamers can use with the stylus. If you are looking for the best bang for the buck, this next device is the perfect deal for you. We have decided to award the title of Best Value Handheld Game Console available on the market in 2021 to Nintendo Switch Lite. Enjoy the charm of the Switch console in the lighter, more compact form of the Nintendo Switch Lite. The new console is dedicated to manual gaming, meaning that you can play your favorite games anytime, anywhere. A smaller version of the Nintendo Switch console with almost all the features of its big brother. The Lite Edition has a local wireless multiplayer feature, as well as the ability to play online. With a larger and more durable battery, the Switch Lite is the perfect console for gamers on the go. Joy-Con is part of the console and cannot be removed, and the console cannot connect to a TV. The screen resolution is 720p and supports all games that can be played in handheld mode. This means that everything from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate to Super Mario Odyssey is waiting for you on the new Nintendo Switch Lite console. The Lite is more compact and lighter than its predecessor. If we go into the exact numbers, the device is approximately 91.1 mm by 13.9 mm by 208 mm in size and weighs about 9.7 ounces. It is slightly smaller than the original and comes with a smaller 5.5 inch screen but has more pixels per inch, 267 ppi to be precise. Furthermore, the light version comes with integrated controls. You can connect four more Joy-Cons to it wirelessly but they are not included in the box and need to be purchased separately. The gizmo does not come with buttons, but they have been replaced with D-pad or plus control pad to achieve the most natural control. Nintendo Lite has almost the same performance as the original Switch, except that it has a more powerful battery that lasts 3-7 to seven hours, half an hour longer than its predecessor. As for other features, the Lite has a built-in accelerometer, gyroscope, and light sensor. Up next is the GPD XD Plus, also known as the best emulator handheld game console that you can find on the market in 2021. This device runs on Android, which means a lot of games are like on a mobile phone you might be using. 
It has a very portable and easily collapsible touchscreen of 5 inches, as well as 32GB of ROM memory and 4GB of RAM. The GDP XD Plus comes with a dual-core A72 processor of 2.1GHz, as well as with a quad-core A53, whose base frequency is 1.7GHz. In addition to playing games, this console also supports watching videos, listening to music, and Wi-Fi connection. The package includes a single lithium-ion battery that can offer up to 8 hours during continuous play on a single charge. GDP XD Plus has a memory storage of 32GB and comes in the following dimensions, 3.5 by 6.2 by 0.95 inches, as well as a weight of 10.5 ounces. In addition to the console, the box also includes one USB cable, one charger for a 5V 2A, as well as the instructions for use, which explain in detail all the necessary steps to get started. Also, the GDP XD Plus gaming console boasts a resolution of 1280 by 720 pixels, which will allow users to play fluidly without any chopping. What our users additionally like is that the degree of heating of this device is reduced to a minimum, so you can play for hours in comfort and convenience. Additionally, the device boasts a solid construction with great durability of buttons, so it'll be able to withstand smaller drops, but it is recommended that you still avoid it. For all you folks who are willing to pay a dollar more to get a high-performance console, we have singled out the following product as the best option. Meet the Sony PlayStation Vita, quite rightly the winner of the best premium handheld game console available on the market in 2021. At the very first glance, the Vita is obviously a device that has one purpose in mind, gaming. The device is quite large, 182 by 84 by 19 millimeters, weighing 9.8 ounces. The console is dominated by a 5-inch OLED multi-touch capacitive display with a resolution of 960 by 540 GHD, a quarter full HD, and a density of 220 PPI with 16 million colors. On the front of the device are visible two analog joys, D-pad, standard action buttons, triangle, square, X, circle, as well as buttons with predefined functions, Start, Select, PS Home. At the top are the L and Write buttons, the Power button, and the Vita card slot for games. At the bottom are the memory card slot and the audio connection. On the back, the touchpad is similar to that on laptops, which serves to help with gaming, an elegant counter solution to obscure the screen during traditional touch gaming. We are also looking at a set of 2.3 megapixel cameras, front and rear. Under the hood, you'll find the powerful ARM Cortex-A9 quad-core processor, which is capable of speeds of 2 GHz. There is also 512 MB of RAM, twice as much as the PS3 and 128 MB of VRAM. Also, the Vita has been given a completely redesigned interface with dazzling colors and more clearly arranged icons, which we can arrange to make the home screen fit our preferences. Multitasking is very pronounced at Vita and does its job perfectly. There will very rarely be any delays or bugs in the work. It is important to mention that the console has an accelerometer and gyroscope that works in three axes and complete the so-called six-axis motion sensing system. From the connections, there are Bluetooth, multifunction port, the memory slot, 3D card slot on 3D models, as well as Wi-Fi. If you can spare the coin, get this guy. After all the factors are summed up, we can freely conclude that the Nintendo Switch is the overall best handheld game console available to the market in 2021. The Nintendo Switch is a 6.2-inch screen tablet with two Wii game controllers connected to either end of the device. This setting allows the Nintendo Switch to play as a portable game console. But the Switch does more than it does as a portable console. First, the controllers can be detached from the Nintendo Switch table section and used independently. The device has a base on the back, which allows it to be picked up and used as a portable screen while players use wireless control games called Joy-Cons. In addition to the two controllers that connect on each side of the Switch, players can wirelessly connect two additional Joy-Cons to the Switch, allowing up to four players at a time. Pretty cool, right? Additionally, the Nintendo Switch can be placed in a docking station that both powers the Switch and connects it to a TV. This is what allows the Switch to be used as a home console and one of the components that brought it the gold medal. The screen is touch sensitive and supports resolutions up to 1280 by 720 pixels. 
Although the tablet itself is 720p, it supports 1080p resolution when placed in the dock and outputs the image to the TV. Furthermore, it boasts a high level of workmanship, as well as a design method that involves a modular device. The battery life of the Switch depends on the game you're playing, but in most cases, you can expect between 2.5 and 6.5 and and hours of operation. The console is made of quality plastic that does not crack and does not bend under pressure. The front is dominated by a large screen surrounded by a large black frame. The screen is protected by a newer generation of hard glass that is resistant to scratches and impacts, while the screen matrix itself is touch sensitive as with smartphones. Joy-Con controllers also support several modes of operation. The basic mode is one in which both controllers are set to a Joy-Con grip that can be used to play games in TV mode. The controllers can also function individually, and some multiplayer games will support local multiplayer in which each player uses only one Joy-Con gamepad. You wanted the best? You got it. Thanks for watching and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.